Hi students, today we are going to describe the electromagnetic induction. In the previous class we have learned that when a current carrying conductor is placed in a magnetic field, a force is acting on the current carrying conductor and that force we call it as a torque. The force exerted on that conductor made it move. Okay. Let us imagine a situation that a current carrying conductor is placed in a magnetic field and a force will act on the conductor definitely. What will happen if the magnetic field is changing? Okay. So let us perform an experiment that a, take a current uh, a coil having a number of large number of tails such as uh, 50, uh, 50 to 100 tails so a coil is taken as and then the coil is then connected to a two terminals of the coil is then connected to a galvanometer and now galvanometer we know that galvanometer is a device that can detect the current flowing through a circuit and then take another magnet when this magnet is brought nearby this conductor okay, the north pole of the magnet is brought nearby the conductor so what will happen suddenly we can find a deflection in the galvanometer so before it is brought nearby the needle of the galvanometer is on the center where the point needle is point towards the zero Suddenly, when the north pole of the magnet is brought nearby the conductor, the needle will deflect one side, say it is right side. Okay? So, that means what? when it is brought nearby, then suddenly a current will be detected throughout the circuit. And then, so, after that, suddenly a momentary deflection, okay, it deflects and comes back to the position. And after that, when this north pole is slowly taken away from this coil, then, so we will observe a deflection of the needle again, but in opposite direction, okay. So, that means, when a magnetic field, magnet is brought nearby a coil, then the magnet produces a magnetic field, and that under the influence of that magnetic field, a momentarily current is produced, induced in the circuit. Okay? And again then, it is, magnet is taken away from this conductor. So it happens same, but in the opposite direction. So this indicates that a momentarily current is produced in the circuit. So it induces a current in the circuit. Now we can reverse the case then take the magnet and magnet is fixed one place and then this coil is then moved when the coil brought nearby this uh, nearby this magnet what happens it produces a deflection in the gal galvanometer and again when the coil taken away from the magnet and the same deflection but in the opposite direction can observe experienced by the magnet sorry the galvanometer and again not only this way and if we change the pole of the magnet the same can be observed when the south pole of the magnet is brought nearby the coil then it produces induce a current in the circuit and when it is taken away then again it will induce a current this is first observed by an english physicist called michael faraday he made a, an important breakthrough by discovering how a moving magnet can be used to generate electricity or currents in a circuit. The same can be observed by an electromagnet. So an electromagnet we know that when a, a magnet field is produced by a current carrying conductor is called an electromagnet. So when an electromagnet is brought nearby in the same or same situation and we also find or we also experience that the same and it produces an induced current in the circuit. So let us perform another activity. So take two coils having a large number of tails in it. Okay? And the first coil connected with a battery serially. 
I then take another coin and which is connected to the galvanometer. Okay. And now, when this circuit is on, so what will happen? The electric current will flow through the first circuit. And this first coil is known as primary coil. And this second is known as secondary coil. And the primary coil is connected to a source, a battery, and the secondary coil is connected to a galvanometer. And where it can reduce a or induced current. Now, when this circuit is on, when the primary coil is on, then what will happen? It completes the circuit, so the electric current will flow through the circuit. And when this primary coil is brought nearby the secondary coil, then what happens? Suddenly, the galvanometer exhibits a deflection in its needle. And again, then it moves away from this secondary coil. It's also produce a momentarily deflection, but in the opposite direction. So the same, when the secondary coil is fixed, and again, here, the first coil, that means the primary coil is changing the magnetic field. So when a coil is placed under a changing magnetic field, so it can produce, generate the electric current, that current is called induced current. And the opposite way also we can be expressed. Electromagnet can be fixed at a position and by changing the secondary coil and on fixing this sec primary coil in a position by changing the position of the secondary coil also can be induced a current. So this is how and this phenomenon or this method is called electromagnetic induction. So by electromagnetic induction and we can uh, generate the electricity and that was a, a breakthrough for the production of electricity or generation of electricity and by using a simple rule we can find out the direction of the magnetic field and the flow direction of the electric field current flowing through the circuit and then that rule is known as Fleming's right hand rule and according to the Fleming's right hand rule and hold the three fingers of our right hand in such a way that they are mutually perpendicular to each other. Like your thumb, forefinger and middle finger. The thumb indicates the movement of the conductor and forefinger indicates the direction of magnetic field and the middle finger indicates the current induced in the circuit, the electromagnetic induction. And by using this rule and we can find out the current induced in the, the direction of current induced in the circuit and also the direction of magnetic field and the direction of motion of the conductor. So here this, these things are they are associated then when the conductor is moved in a permanent magnetic field. So the magnetic field is produced by a current carrying conductor. Then an induced current is produced in the circuit. Or, or by changing the magnetic field, then a current is produced on the another conductor. And the ma provided the magnetic field is provided by an electromagnet. Okay, And this can be explained for the direction of magnetic field, the direction of induced current and the direction of uh, motion of the coil can be explained or by the Fleming's right hand rule. So, there are a devices that working on the principle of this electromagnetic induction and such a device is known as electric generators. Electric generators are used to uh, produce the electric current. Then they are working on this same phenomenon that we are going to discuss in the next class.